There was a massive amount of erosion following a, uh, a very severe thunderstorm in July of 2015. It caused about a million dollars of damage in Chagrin, and this was one of the washout areas where basically the river washed away the entire bank and was lapping almost at the edge of the fence, and we were uh, very concerned about losing uh, our treatment plant. So the river, it scoured out a huge hole right here. Uh, it was a nine foot hole, so there was a big gouge in the bank put a ton of sediment in the river, which affects the water quality, degrades it really badly. For this project, to deal with this big gouge, we excavated all this material out in the floodplain and filled in the hole and rebuilt the bank of the river. See where all that water is kind of running down, where it's kind of bubbling and, and cutting through and coming through, and that's where the center line of the stream should be. And, and the problem was, was that the center line of the stream, where most of the power and the force of the flow was up against the side. And that's not good. That's where you get that erosive effect. The solution here was to put in these structures to help kind of realign, to just kind of gently nudge that back into the center line. And as the water comes down, it creates these kind of these pool areas in between these structures, which allows for sediment to settle out and build up there and kind of rebuild the bank that had been lost. In the floodplain, after we excavated it all out, we planted it with wetland seed mix and a diverse uh, mix of trees and shrubs. The Chagrin River is a unique resource. It has a lot of cold water streams feeding into it and supports biota here that you won't see in other areas. You know, before this was not an aesthetically pleasing place. It wasn't even accessible. And now people are having a lot of enjoyment. As you can see, it's, it's been a very successful project. We have found Davey to be very cooperative, extremely knowledgeable and, uh, and helpful, even uh, to the point of making suggestions of how it could be done better that weren't on the plans. I think the ability to react on the fly and make changes as, as required is, is very important. Clean, healthy water matters because we literally cannot live without it. You know, you think of these rivers and streams as the veins, and you want to keep them healthy because they have to flow to the heart. And if you continue to cut off veins, if you continue to stop that process, the body dies. Maintaining these in the healthiest state that we can and protecting and preserving them is so important.